There we go. You look ready. Oh, beautiful. Putting a pot of yellow tomato pasta sauce today. Gonna be interesting to see how that comes out. There's always something going on on Grandpa's farm. A place where you're always welcome. Come on, Lily, let's go feed. Before we get to the pasta making, my video wouldn't be complete unless I showed you some of my duckies. This is sort of my morning routine, washing off the sidewalk, wetting down the ducks, giving them food and water. Trying to clean up their excess food on the ground. Well, uh oh, that's ready to harvest. Oh, two of them there. Beauties, look at that. <laughs> now the tomatoes you just saw me put there in the feed scoop, the uh, golden ones are the golden jubilee, and that's what we're going to be making pasta sauce out of today. The other one was a German queen. First step in making pasta sauce, we have to remove the skins and the interior. So we're boiling some water, and we're soaking the uh, tomatoes in this water until the skin peels, just like that. Then we're going to core them and remove the cores from them so we get that all cleaned out. Try to get them as cleaned up as we can without losing too much of the juice and this is the same no matter what kind of tomato you're going to use Just make sure you get all that goodness that you can don't waste anything all right these are getting ready to go into the pot I'm going to cut them up a little bit break them up into smaller pieces just about mouth size a little bit less I'm putting them down on six. Using the potato masher just to help break them down. Just gonna make a small pot of fresh yellow pasta sauce, which is what I really want to do here. I just want to play and make some yellow pasta sauce. I've never had yellow pasta sauce. I don't think, I, maybe my mom may have done it. I don't know. Yeah, that looks good. That looks good. The potato masher was highly effective. Hmm. We got some Thai basil first. Could we have fresh Thai basil? Right out of our garden. I planted these, started these seeds myself. And grew up little basils. How cool is that, huh? Oh my gosh. The smell from that is just amazing. Absolutely amazing. Now I find with these basil, it's best just to kind of roll it up. Johanna gave me a real hard time for not using the Italian basil. I'm using the Thai basil instead. But she was using that basil for making pesto. I need a bigger knife. You know what? I need a better knife for that. That knife is not the right knife for that. I need something like this with a rolling, with a rolling blade. I figured I'd speed things up to save you guys the boredom. Oh, because the... The Thai basil is not as strong as the Italian basil. That is true. But it's still very, very aromatic. Very, very aromatic. I gotta turn this down a little bit more. I turned it down to four. Oh, gosh. Got 
gotta stir, stir, stir when it comes to pasta sauce. <laughs> Fresh oregano we planted and raised ourselves. It is so nice to have fresh herbs that we raised ourselves for in our cooking now. Gotta admit, when you homestead, you really do eat well. We've had a lot of fine dining. Alright, there's a lot of oregano. Oregano had actually gone to bloom already. Still, it was just delicious. Dicing it up nice and fine. Picking out stems. And I'm not sure I even need that much, but you know what? Boom. As Emerald Lagasse would say, bam. And I turned it green instead of yellow. That was a lot of basil, but it sure tasted good. A lot of oregano. Cook, 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 stir, stir, stir. I turned down to almost two. And at two, I let it simmer for a long time, maybe as much as an hour. Now that would have been great food for chickens or pigs if we hadn't. I wash some things by hand, some things I put in the dishwasher. I have no rhyme or reason. Just crazy. I do mumble to myself a lot. All right, here we go. Got the pasta made. Just plain spaghetti. That's gonna be an awful lot for Johanna, but she'll like that. <clears throat> and his memory serves, she ate every bit of it. Dark the sauce. Likes lots of sauce on hers. Big old pile of pasta. There's a little left in the pot. I didn't want it to go to waste, so what the hell, grab that too. Have to admit, I really enjoy cooking with our fresh made vegetables and stuff right out of the garden. Nothing like it. Well, what do you think? I don't know yet, I haven't tasted it. Of course, you know, I don't make sauce like you make sauce. Should, I, would have, I would have liked to have added some meat to that. Mm -mm. But, no. is it edible? It's good. Yeah? It's real good. Kind of sweet, isn't it? I never had uh, sauce made out of yellow tomatoes. They're sweet. I didn't add any sugar to that. It almost tastes like I added sugar. Mm -mm. And there is not too much basil and parsley in there. You don't think so? <laughs> no, I don't right. think so. No, it tastes. It, it, it's real good. Well, there you go, folks. I got the seal of approval from a true Italian grandma. Can't get much better than that. Here's Lily looking at some of our ducklings. Thought I'd throw a little cuteness in. You guys have a good day. Well, how about them toad suckers? Ain't they sappy? Sucking them toads all shore, make them happy. Hug them, mug of toad suckers way down south. Sticking them sucky toads in they mouth. I be a toad sucker, knowing a duck it. You just find an old toad and you rear back and suck it. Folks, you have a good day. Bye.